Good afternoon, YouTube. So I have one of the new V2 Traxxas Max. Um, here's the stock tires. Now, uh, I'm going to be installing the Traxxas Sledge tires. These are from the Sledge. They're a bit bigger. So we're going to compare the weights and see what they look like installed on the Max. So this is fully stock, of course. So... Of course, I'll have to change. I mean, it has been dyed black, but I'll, I'll have to change the gearing for these tires. But they feel a lot lighter than the Erevo tires. So I'll get a weight on that here in a minute. But, uh, let's see if these will fit the stock max. So there's the tire, let's give these away. So I'll do this in grams. So the stock tire is 265 grams. And then the stock, stock sledge tire is 351 grams. So it's a little bit heavier, like I said, not as heavy as the Erevo tires at 410 grams. So these should be a direct fit. Um, we might have to make some small adjustments. So I'll put that on. All right. So there she is. That's with the sledgehammer. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but see how much that tire wobbles? So even if I hold the axles, so I'll show you what the problem is. So these are not a direct fit, at least not without some modification. So the problem is that the stock ones have a thicker plastic in the center, whereas the sledge hammer tires from the sledge are thinner. So in order to fix that, you actually need a spacer in there or to uh, modify modify these uh, adapters so if you can see there the distance between this gap it's closed off by this one but this is thinner so to get this to work I actually went to my local hardware store and bought these little spacers um, you know I just took this piece with me and matched whatever I could so this is exactly the same width So then by doing this, it allows you to put on the tires without modifying anything. So now you can tell they're a lot tighter. I mean, it still moves because of the arms, but if I hold this, it doesn't go up and down like it did before. And you can see that they're actually secured. So let me just make sure that that's tightened. And then I'll put all these other ones on too. So, as you can see, the tires don't wobble like they were before. I mean, there's always play in the, in the arms, but nothing like it was. So this is a Max with the sledgehammer tires. And I'll have to do a running video later. I think it looks pretty good. So, I think they should have come with these tires. I think it would have been a lot nicer. Um, these tires balloon a lot worse than the original V1. And as you can see, they have exploded on me. So I've glued these, glued these with a uh, tire glue. These will still run for a while. Uh, let's see, where's the other one? Yeah, so doing speed runs, these actually ripped on me. And I wasn't even going that fast. So the version 1 are definitely a lot tougher than these ones. Pretty soft plastic. So these just look really nice. I mean, they're stuffed, so they'll balloon. But I mean, they, they look pretty nice. So 
There's that. And it doesn't look like they'll rub. So, I think that looks really nice. So, I'll have to get a running video later. But uh, I think that looks that looks pretty sweet. Well, and I figured I'd add this additional clip for those of you that are curious. So, again, this is going to be in grams, so we'll weigh the tires. So, the stock tires weigh 1,066 grams. And the sledge tires weigh, weigh 1,388 grams. So we're talking about difference. Of about 324 grams, so about the weight of one of these tires combined. So it's not that much heavier. Like I said, the E-Revo tires are much, much heavier than these tires. So uh, there's that.